June 1st marked the opening of hurricane season in the Atlantic Ocean. Hilton Head Island's Emergency Management Coordinator Tom Dunn was ready then and he's ready now to talk about how prepared the town already is and maybe how much better the, it is prepared than in the past and how prepared we need to get in case we're in the eye of another big storm this summer. Tom, uh, welcome in. What are you hearing so far about this season? Well, the interesting thing is the Storm Prediction Center annually does some uh, hurricane analysis and they, they, they come up with a prediction. Um, this year their prediction is in what we call a, a, a normal range. They're yeah. predicting 9 to 15 hurricanes, uh, excuse me, 9 to 15 name storms, 4 to 8 hurricanes, and 2 to 4 major, major hurricanes, which is 3 and above. All right, so uh, a normal season. Normal hasn't been normal around here lately. Exactly. Uh, Let's talk first about how the town is prepared. What, uh, anything new, anything different that uh, you guys have done through your analysis of, of uh, response to the last couple of storms that's going to make it better this time? Absolutely. I think one of the things that we do after every event, um, hurricanes, including even the ice storm that we, we recently had, yeah. uh, we do an after action report. And one of the uh, one of the things that we learned is we need to do continue to do a better job of getting the information out to the public and making sure they get the appropriate information. So one of the things that we changed um, following uh, Hurricane Matthew and somewhat implemented for Irma and it's ready to go fully now is what we call a virtual operations support team. And essentially that is a group of folks that evacuate, town staff that mm -hmm. evacuate, and they help us monitor social media. What questions are people asking? What is on the news? What, what things are going on in the virtual world? And they feed that information back to us. And that helps us better craft a message and answer questions that are being asked out, out there in the, in, on social media. That's good stuff. What can folks do, uh, us uh, here on the island, do to better prepare ourselves for the next storm? Sure, the first thing to do is actually have a plan is to take, the, if you don't have an emergency plan or an evacuation plan, take that first step. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated. We all go on vacations, we all take day trips. Start with that. What do you take with you on a day trip? What do you take with you when you go on vacation? And begin to develop your plan there. Same with location. Pick a location on where you want to go, how you're going to get there. And, and deal with, at least in your head early on, pets and things like that and, and, and relatives and all of that so that, that there's no big surprise when we get a warning that uh, that we need to move, right? Absolutely, and, and one of the things I tell folks is plan for you, plan the way you live. Yeah. Uh, the town has got a great emergency guide to help you plan for hurricanes and other disasters, but it's a guide. You need to take that guide and apply it to you and your life, being pets, special needs, children, wh children, whatever that may be. Besides that guide, are there other resources the town has to, to, to help? Absolutely, you can look on the town's website. Okay. There are uh, there are other there's other information there. The Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service Charleston have great information on on their websites. But our hurricane guide, our emergency our emergency guide, is the uh, the primary source of information. It's got everything you need to know about preparing for any hazard hurricane all the way through to, to that earthquake or whatever may occur. And from a social media standpoint, you talked about monitoring it and yes. crafting the message. Mm -hmm what are you guys going to do better to get that message out? Is there going to be a single kind of thing like the county's trying to do a little bit more of where log in, get yourself uh, set up with that so that you get whatever is coming out? Is that, is that something the town's going to do as well? S similar, yes. Uh, okay. the, 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 the county uses uh, Nixle to push Nixle, out a lot, okay. of yeah. lot of information. That's a great, great source of information. On the town side, we have, uh, we have Facebook, Twitter, um, YouTube is another great one that we're okay. actually filming our EOC meetings. So oh. when we're meeting and we're discussing what's going on and how we're planning for the day, you can actually hear those and see what we're doing and the people who are actually implementing those plans. And uh, Flickr is another one that we've added. Okay. So if there's photos, folks, after the event, they can upload and we can we can get, grab those and share them. All right, but begin with following the town on Facebook. Is, is Absolutely. It's as easy as that? <laughs> yes, sir, it's easy as that. <laughs> That's terrific. Thanks so much, Tom. Uh, I hope I don't see you for a while. Uh, Absolutely. Not that I don't love you, but uh, <laughs> let's hope we don't have to get together until after it's all over. Tom Dunn of the town of Hilton Head. Up next, a new program on the island to help bring us together just a little bit better.